morning. This is Fuzzy Road to Health, and I'm Fuzzy D. So this is actually going to be uh, three videos rolled into one. So today is uh, June 2nd, 2023. To date, I've lost a total of uh, 210 pounds. So as of this morning, I weighed uh, 330.2 pounds. Now the reason I'm being specific with the 0.2 is the last couple of weeks uh, I've been kind of going up and down a bit on my weight. Now I'm I still seem to be reshaping a little bit so I'm not overly concerned but uh, I did a little test actually a couple little tests the other day uh, and I discovered that it looks like I've got some signs of uh, insulin resistance going on. Now, it's not, it doesn't happen a lot to carnivores, but it's, it's certainly not unheard of. It does happen, especially if you were really super overweight like I was. And, uh, you know, I had many years of, of metabolic dysfunction and, you know, that, that kind of thing. So, I don't think it's uh, particularly abnormal for this to be happening. So, um, after doing some research, I ran across something called the sardine fast. Eating sardines for three days isn't exactly a fast, as some have pointed out to me. <laughs> but it's just a, a term that people use for some reason. But uh, there's actually quite a few doctors out there that support this as a metabolic reset. And sometimes it can help you kind of break through that insulin resistance. So basically what I'm doing is uh, over a 72 hour period, I'll be eating nothing but sardines. Now normally I'm OMAD, so that's one meal a day, uh, which I eat early in the mornings so that I have energy throughout the day. Uh, and I don't really deal with hunger until fairly late at night and then I sleep through most of it. So that's, that's kind of why I like to do it that way. Uh, I used to do OMAD at a different time of the day, but this definitely works a lot better for me. My wife's not very happy with it because I don't eat with her anymore. and we, She has to reheat food that I'm cooking for both of us. <laughs> but I have to do what's best for my health. I don't know what it is particularly about sardines that uh, seem to work with this, but I'll be actually eating any time I feel hungry during the next three days. So I bought like 20 cans. So this is what I what I got. Now it was after we got these that somebody pointed out to me that these are fillets or fillets and not the whole sardines and apparently there is a difference especially when it comes to some of the uh, nutrition that you get. I'm hoping this will still work like it's supposed to. If not, I'll probably have to get some more and try again at a later date. But since we already got these, I'm going to give it a try with the fillets and we'll see how that goes. So this is day one and the idea being that um, on day three, I'll actually, you know, for my early morning meal, I'll still fill up again on these, but then that'll be back to OMAD on, uh, on Sunday. So we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted, see how I'm doing, see how I'm feeling. Now I did get uh, some fresh blood tests back a few days ago and it actually shows my cholesterol has gone down into normal range, weirdly enough, um, even though I've been eating lots of fat. Uh, but my triglycerides are a little higher than I'd like. So that's another reason that prompted me to maybe look at, at doing this metabolic reset because that's not really what is normal for a carnivore. Usually the triglycerides are, are down in the normal range or just slightly above with a much higher LDL cholesterol. Uh, but because of what sugar and, and processed food does to LDL cholesterol, it modifies the structure. So it becomes like this smaller, heavier particle. So when you're on carnivore, you have what's, what they refer to as like a large fluffy 
the LDL cholesterol. So uh, having a high LDL cholesterol uh, is for a carnivore is perfectly normal and healthy. It actually helps protect you and it helps rebuild your cells, especially your brain cells and your nerve cells. Um, they need that healthy cholesterol and that healthy uh, low, uh, low density cholesterol uh, is actually protective of your uh, veins and arteries. So uh, please uh, make sure you refer back to the disclaimer. It'll talk a little bit about the fact that I'm not a doctor or medical professional. I am able to do my own research and I've also been dealing with uh, chronic health disease uh, almost from birth. So I've got a little bit of experience dealing with this stuff from day to day. So we'll see if this uh, kind of re-kickstarts my, uh, my weight loss and, and breaks this kind of uh, metabolic slowdown that I've been having the last little while. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. This is day two of my sardine reset. A couple of things that I noticed yesterday. Um, of course, uh, as I mentioned before, these were the fillets, not the whole sardines. And, you know, I started uh, my breakfast off, I think, with um, four tins. And I was still feeling pretty hungry but I didn't want to eat more than that at that time. You know, I've got a limited number of tins, so I figured I'll just start with that. And then around lunchtime, I had a couple more, and then around uh, five or six in the evening, I think I had uh, I was, uh, three or four more. I wound up having 10 total for the day. And at no point did I feel particularly filled up. I was hungry after every every set and from everything that I've read and watched on videos and stuff um, they're supposed to be actually quite filling with not that much my wife had to go do some shopping so I asked her to see if she could find the whole ones um, we didn't realize that these weren't whole she just grabbed a bunch and they turned out to be the fillets so today um, I switched over to those and so this morning I had four tins again, but this time I, I felt full. I mean, I wasn't stuffed or anything, but I, you know, I wasn't hungry anymore, basically. So I'm hopeful that, uh, that this is going to do better. And it seems to be, you know, like within a, uh, an hour and a half yesterday of eating, I was already starting to get hungry again today. I'm not getting that. So there's definitely a nutritional difference between the fillets and the whole uh, sardines. So uh, if you're going to try this for yourself, I definitely recommend going with the whole ones. Now it did seem to kind of very slightly break through the the uh, kind of yo-yoing up and down I was having. Maybe. Um, you know, usually what would happen is I would go up two or three pounds and then I'd slowly come back down and then kind of hold there for a couple of days and then maybe go up again and then when I went back down it'd be a tiny bit lower so this time uh, I had just gotten back down to the the 331.2 and when I got up this morning and weighed in I was 330.0 so 330 even so that's that's definitely nice uh, or yeah 330 yeah. hopefully uh, I'll see a bit more of a difference tomorrow um, I am feeling a slight bit different today like um, just feeling a little better so maybe this reset is starting to work I don't know it's kind of too early to tell but we'll talk to you again tomorrow and see how we're doing well good morning so Yesterday, I finished off my my three-day reset on the sardines, and as you know, uh, you know the the first day I was eating the fillets and just didn't seem to be able to get to feel entirely full. So uh, we managed to locate some of the whole sardines uh, later that day so I was able to squeeze
switch to the the poll ones for the last couple of days. These are the results. Uh, I actually wound up gaining a total of 1.4 pounds, which, while not great, I was eating throughout the day until full. I wasn't doing, you know, OMAD during that during that cleanse or that reset. So that could have something to do with it. Don't know if I want to eat sardines again for a little bit, <laughs> as much as I like them. By the time I finished up uh, late yesterday afternoon, eating the last batch, um, I actually did wind up running out of the, the whole ones again. So my last two cans, I was back to the flays, but at least I was able to fill full again at the end of that. So, did this do anything else for me? Did it reset my metabolism? Um, only time's gonna tell. So I should know within, you know, the next few days uh, if it's had an effect or not. But uh, I'll wait like a full week before I kind of report back. So a week from today, I'll do like a normal vlog and report my status. So, um, just as a little quick side note, uh, so today makes it uh, 20 weeks that I've been on the carnivore diet and my total weight loss to this point has been just under 210 pounds, actually it'd be 209 pounds. So I was at 210 pound loss, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, they, the day after I started this, I went down like 0.2 of a pound. But uh, it usually takes, you know, a day or two for the weight loss change to catch up. But all that said, uh, when you're this far into a carnivore diet, um, living and dying by the scale is, is not actually very helpful. As I've had some of the slowdown in weight loss, what has not slowed down uh, at least I don't think it has, is my actual fat loss. Because every week when I get dressed for church, you know, I have the, you know, the same, the same pants, basically, that I wear in, in a series of shirts that I cycle between. And every Sunday that I get ready for church, um, those clothes are fitting a little looser, whether I lost weight that week or not. So what that tells me is that, you know, I am regaining strength. Now, because I spent um, 10 years uh, bed bound, you know, I was sick for years before that and still wasn't able to move around much uh, after that. You know, I've, I've lost so much muscle mass that even just regular walking around and stuff is helping to regain my strength. Now, I had been doing that uh, guided workout thing a little while back, but the last uh, the last two sessions of that I couldn't do anymore because my back was being such an issue. So I think it's got something to do with how my center of balance is shifting and it's changing it's changing the angle of those vertebrae in my back, how they relate to each other, and I've got a at least. You know, as of the last scans I had a few years back, I've got at least three discs that are completely gone and another one that was on its way to being gone. And what I find is uh, throughout this rapid weight loss that I've had, there's, you know, every three or four months, I'll hit, you know, two or three weeks where my back gets really bad. This time, it's been longer than that. So I, you know, I think it's kind of shifted to a whole new set of angles that weren't really touching before. So now I've got these new areas of bone on bone. So it's making it really difficult to try and, and get any exercise done. I mean, I did go and get my membership at the gym. There's actually a pretty nice gym here in town. That, uh, that's it's actually more of a recreation center. So they've got, you know, swimming pools and hot tubs and uh, a running track all inside and then they've got uh, 
you know, all the different uh, weight stations around the track. And then they've got a whole separate room with all the weight training equipment, that kind of a thing. Uh, they've actually even got a, an area that I haven't seen yet. I didn't go look at it when I did the tour, but they've got another area where they um, where they teach uh, like karate and kickboxing and stuff. I just haven't been able to get my back in good enough shape that, that it makes sense for me to go and work out. I've got to be so careful that I don't injure my back further. Now, I do have my... Uh, MRI scheduled for July. I thought it was in June and I had said a couple times on videos that I had it in June, but it turned out that uh, you know my memory wasn't exactly on track there. <laughs> so uh, I believe it's um, first week of July where I've got my MRI scheduled for my back and the referral has been in for a while. So like in Canada, I can't just go and see a specialist. You know, I have to get referred from my family doctor and it all has to go through channels. Um, but, you know, the upside of that is that it's all paid for. So I don't, I don't have to pay out of my own pocket for that. So hopefully within, uh, within a fairly short period of time, after I get the MRI, I'll actually get in for the consult with the, uh, the back surgeon. And if I'm lucky, I'll get my back surgery by the end of the year. Hopefully my back's going to settle down enough fairly soon so I can start going and doing at least some light workouts at the gym. Even if it's just upper body and some cardio, um, you know, at least, you know, that'll help to accelerate my metabolism once again. Because right now my weight loss, although it's still happening, is, you know, like I said, it's, it's really slowed down. And, and I'm okay with that. I mean, it, everything has to happen, you know, in phases. And there's always going to be ups and downs in this and uh, try not to let it get you discouraged or depressed. So when you start getting discouraged or depressed, you get stressed. And then a lot of times we want to revert to our old eating habits. I know I used to be a bit of a binge eater at, at times. And, you know, I mean, once before I had gotten like right now I'm sitting at uh, 331.4. Once before, I had actually gotten down to 340, and then you know all that worldwide sickness nonsense happened, and I got depressed from being indoors all the time, and I started binge eating. You know, went completely off. At the time, I had been doing keto, so I went completely off the keto diet, went and just started eating a bunch of pasta and all this nonsense. And it didn't take long before I was back up to 480 pounds. So, and then um, when my daughter's wedding started coming up, I realized, oh, jeepers, I better do something and start taking this off again. So I went back on keto about a month before the wedding. And by the time the wedding rolled around, I'd lost like 15 pounds. And then I started coming off faster after that. Uh, if you guys want to know rest, uh, the rest of the story about my my progress and what was going on when I first started carnivore, uh, just check out my uh, my first video on my channel. So like my channel intro. Uh, I think I just called it like a health synopsis video kind of a thing. So it was just the introduction. So uh, go back and take a, a look at that. I'll actually leave a link for it up here. And... Uh, you can get a little more uh, detail that way. Thanks for uh, hanging out today. We appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the videos that we make on this channel, and if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos coming out. So we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.